Hey everybody, I'm going to be talking about transponders, well, primarily uh, a certain type of transponder, and that is a Phillips 46 blank, and I'm going to talk about why it's awesome, and why you should have like a hundred of them. Okay, so here's my blank pile, I have more on the way, but um... Basically, this Phillips 46 transponder is uh, cross-compatible amongst just a multitude of manufacturers. And uh, you can use this in a, uh, you know, a B111 key. You can use this in a H0 or HO03, you know, Honda, high security. You can use this in an... Uh, an HD108, you know, regular security, but an Acura key. You can use this in Nissan, uh, Kia, Hyundai. Um, you can use this in Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Um, it's it's a flexible guy. It's a very cross compatible. It's adaptable. But once you program it. It will lock and you cannot unlock it so I'm gonna just kind of show you some things about it um, like up here I just have just some miscellaneous stock that I kind of keep at the ready um, and I've got Honda high security uh, shells I've got some Chrysler uh, CY24 shells and I have a B119 shells i've got b11 shells running low on those need to reorder but um this chip will go into all those it'll go into more than what i've shown up there and so it's just a very um necessary thing to have and it's often overlooked because people will buy their keys like pre-assembled like this guy right here um you can see the blades stamped with a circle plus there's no uh chip uh tray or shelf to which you can uh add your own transponder and so people will buy this for like five bucks maybe three because these are really common and cheap but um you know you can buy the uh the blank transponder by itself for like two bucks get a shell for like two bucks and just keep it keep those separate because um, as any automotive locksmith knows um, not all Pontiacs and Chevy's and etc are created equal because some that have a B106 keyway will still require a Megamos 13 transponder which is something that you will also find in like Nissan and Honda um, etc. So, uh, if you carry just the, uh, you know, if you don't carry the pre-made keys, you just carry chips and shells, you can build your own key as needed. So if I had a, um, I mean, if I had a Cadillac SRX, which uses a Megamos 48, but this particular keyway, you just drop a Megamos 48 in the bad boy. And then you build your, your Cadillac key. Or say you got a B uh, or a, a 08 Malibu. You need to make it into a circle plus. You drop that bad boy in it. Just like that. Or say you got a Grand Prix that you have to go to. You use that glass chip right there, that Megamos 13. And they will fit in there. That's the the tray or the chip carrier I don't know the proper term but that's what I call it move that glass guy out of the way and it's got a taper to it so you just put it in there accordingly see it'll fit just like so and 
doing this one handed. Okay. See that? It's in. And then you'd push it down and it would be seated and uh, you can take a lighter or a solder gun, score it, make sure that chip carrier tray never comes out again. But you don't do that until you're done. So if you make a mistake and you got to trash this shell, you can just flip it over. And there's a poke hole where you can stick something skinny into there and it'll pop the tray out so that you can scavenge your uh, transponder chip back out. So uh, that's what I recommend mostly uh, that people start doing because like, as you can see I have uh, shells and stuff in here that I just kind of carry and when I need to I just build what I need. Um, I also have clonable chips so that uh, if I need to I can uh, like I can clone a Philips 46 like remote head key for like a Chrysler Pacifica if like the key breaks um, I can just clone it instead of having to pull uh, the car's uh, screen module and e-proming the pin code or buying the pin code etc to program in a new one so you can clone out or uh, copy with uh, clonable chips um, you know it's just it's smart just to have like it and you know a nice assortment uh i just roughly um labeled it i bought most of these before i knew better uh before i knew that blank uh fill 46 could be adapted into some of the others that i spent more money on so i wouldn't even buy like fill up crypto chips just buy the blanks because you can convert them into crypto um, if you want. So you can convert them into uh, Mitsubishi uh, chips as well. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if my Tango has the software, but I have it out and loaded. So I'll just see. Um, I was in a class and uh, somebody... Was talking about how you can do this with tango so i have never attempted it but apparently if you have blank uh fill up 46 chips you can um you can uh generate different things id fill 46 um Image generator. Okay. So now that should have just changed um, the Phillips 46 blank into a crypto. So we are going to go and uh, we are going to try to identify what's in the cloner right now. There it is. That's, that's cool. Um, that blank has been put into crypto mode now, and uh, it's unlocked, so it's ready to be programmed into a Chrysler or uh, or uh, you know um, a General Motors a B111 Circle Plus system. So uh, that's pretty outstanding. So now this is no longer a blank. Um, this is ready to be programmed into a vehicle, but this is now locked into crypto mode it's unlocked crypto mode but it's locked into crypto mode it cannot be converted back to a blank now so this guy no uh no longer works for nissan honda and uh hyundai kia so um this is now gonna find a new home in the spot next door because it is now a circle plus chip pretty cool and you can turn these blanks into um you can turn these blanks into even uh mitsubishi chips so i mean it's it's very cool i s still i i don't have a comprehensive understanding of this tool and everyday 
I am practicing getting better, but I, I know good information when I learn it myself. And so this is definitely information I feel I need to pass on to others who can use it. And hopefully if ever they need or have the time to share to help somebody else, they can and will. So, um, you know, it's not a, not a lot going in this video right now, but essentially, if you're going to be an automotive locksmith, I highly recommend you begin to uh, stockpile your shell and um, chip or transponder assortment. So even if you don't know which ones to get, just go online to your favorite distributor and just buy a lot. Um, buy buy the ones that are cross compatible that can be adapted and then buy yourself some clonable so that you can uh, use something like this just a little handheld cloner and you can clone out customer keys when they break them or if they uh, if they're really frugal or you don't want to plug into the car you're afraid it's a liability like because it's a it's a beater it's ghetto you don't want to be blamed for something clone out just you know psh, clone out a, a fill 46 or something with a CN3 chip. So anyway, I hope that this has been somewhat educational and informative. If not, leave a comment, let me know. If you like what I am producing, feel free to uh, subscribe and like the video. So hopefully I will be teaching a lot more in the future.